Chris Sims last week you said don't be surprised if this game tonight is a heck of a lot closer than it is and as a matter of fact the Chargers probably surprised a lot of people by winning this game what stood out to you the most about the way the defense played tonight well gosh I wish I would have listened to myself because <laughs> we're all going to get trolled on social yes. media by the Chargers certainly but I think the first thing we have to start off was the defense the Chargers we haven't seen anybody do that to the Miami Dolphins this year right I think that's what last week we saw the Dolphins offense struggle but I think it was more self-inflicted Dolphins not playing that well there was people open you heard Chris Collins were talk about it Tua missed a number of throws Mike Tirico alluded to it early in the football game tonight we saw a defensive game plan by Brandon Staley and company where no life was legitimately hard it wasn't that yeah Tua was off certainly but there was not a lot of open receivers so that defensive game plan certainly stood out and just squash Tua in the hottest offense we've seen in, in football really through the first 13 weeks. But the other story is Megatron, a quarterback there, yeah. number 10. So let's talk I about mean, Justin Herbert. Yes. 300 yards, I mean, yes. just an incredible performance right. from him. And obviously knowing that the defense is injury depleted, he knew he and the offense had to come to play tonight. They did that and then some. They really did. I mean, again, I think the thing you think about with like Justin Herbert, first off, is under pressure constantly, and that didn't change tonight. Look at every time he throws the ball, he takes a huge shot. But these throws, the degree of difficulty. Oh, yeah, I'm going to roll out right and throw a 50-yard bomb left. Oh, wait, you're covered with the best corner in football all over you. Don't worry, I'll put it on you. Oh, hey, the corner's got his hand in your pocket, but I'll get it in there some way. So Justin Herbert's ability to throw with people around him or people around his wide receivers is special. It's second to none. He's truly, the, he, he's arguably the best pocket passer in football. And then we saw him get out of the pocket a few times tonight, make some plays that way. We you know, made a number, like no run game, mm -hmm. not great pass protection. Their receivers don't create a lot of separation. All right, so between the defense tonight and then having a really special quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks in our game, he's one of the five best in the game, uh, that got them over the hump in a huge, huge win for the Chargers to keep them alive in this playoff picture. All right, so fans are leaving SoFi Stadium. Pretty happy after this victory for, yeah, the, for the Chargers as we send you back out to Los Angeles. Welcome in our two pals, Jack Collinsworth and Rodney Harrison. For yo, more yo, now. yo. Rodney, how do you have like that defensive performance, my friend? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear defensive performance to, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> The defensive performance yeah. by the Chargers. Yeah. Oh, I thought Brandon Staley was unbelievable. He had his team prepared, ready to go. I mean, you think about all the backups. You're yeah. missing Derwin James. You're missing your nickelback. And the majority of the game, they came out and played very aggressive. They played a lot of tight man-to-man -man coverage. I thought Brandon Staley came up with the game plan of the century, basically. He sure did. And you look at Miami. This is a team that was hot. Five-game win streak. Then they come out to California. And it's a West Coast beatdown. They get beat by San Francisco. They come to L.A. They stay here, practice here, come out, and they get beat by the Chargers. You mentioned that battle of the head coaches, though. Brandon Staley, Mike McDaniel, two of these young, rising guys in the AFC. Talk me through the battle of the minds, how you saw this game playing out watching. Mike McDaniel really showed his inexperience as a head coach because he didn't run the football. Everybody that has run the football, you could 181, 163 yards, 157, 201, 213. You got to run the football. So is he more concerned about his stats as being the top ranked offense in the league or is he worried about getting a victory? It's all about getting a W. You have to win a football game. Don't worry about the stats. You kept noticing Tua was getting this cover two man, two man. Explain specifically what that was. I had you fired up sitting there on the couch watching this. Well, two man is a coverage that we used to use and we used to we used to create a lot of turnovers. Basically, it's like cover two. You got two safeties deep, but you're playing man-to-man -man coverage from an inside technique standpoint. So that was perfect what Brandon Staley did because the Dolphins love a lot of inside routes. They took that away, and they had no answer. They had two safeties deep, not a lot of big plays down the field. You look at Jalen Waddle; He was virtually invisible. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.